Welcome back to PG Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to use the Rhino software to show you how to make this birdhouse pendant with the little birds on the top as a bell and also the hinge open door in the back so you can wear it as a locket. Are you ready? Let's get started. For this demonstration, there are a few parts I want to touch upon, uh, how to make the roof and also the body and also where the hinge in the back and the little birds on the top. So that's starting from the scratch. So we're going to come into the front view and build approximately how big we want this uh, birdhouse to be and kind of give yourself a reference. I just draw a rectangle for whatever size that I like and I'm going to using the align tool to align centers and type it zero to line up right in the middle. We just need the reference line. So I'm going to snapping into the midpoint right here and coming down to the side for whatever, how, where the roof is going to be. And I want it to be a little bit over here. Okay. The second thing is I wanted to draw the first element for our roof, which we're going to use a rectangle, make sure the center is marked and we want to mark it about right here. Now I wanted to rotate this guy for 45 degree angle with the gumball. So then it will be something like this. Now with this one to make it multiple of them, I simply just go into using the command for a linear array and we're going to array maybe 10 of them is fine and then we're gonna hit enter and then we're gonna use a reference line make sure your near is on here on the bottom for your old snap and we want a near going here right notice that if we doing this it feel like this is nothing going to change so i'm going to record a history and i'm going to do still do it like this all right. After we record a history, if we moving any of the point, then you will see the differences on each of them. And this is the quick way to, to get it more like a lifetime for what you're working on. And then if you like those step here, we're going to delete the extra that we don't need. Once we have this shape right here, let's go ahead to pick up everybody. And we want to use a command called curve pulling. With this curve boolean, we can make sure that you want to delete the input here on the top and make sure you want to combine the region. So we can pick up the area that we wanted, something like this. Those are the area that we, we do want it. Go all the way till here, make it longer. I shouldn't pick up the rectangle, but anyway, I already did. So I'm just going to continue to do something like this. All right, so those are the area that we want and uh, make sure that you click enter, then you will delete everything beside those. Okay, uh, we actually don't need that much here. I should have uh, not picking up this rectangle, but uh, it's quite easy to fix this. I'm just going to go over something like this and then using this curve to trim each other, something like this. All right, uh, the top, I actually, it's going to trim it as well. Uh, we're going to starting a polyline, starting from here, and we just want to trim this area right there because all we need to do right now, after join all of them, like join command, and we just need to mirror to the other side. So then we'll have the roof structure right there. Okay, don't forget to join those two together and always make sure that this curve right here it will be a closed curve on my right side of the uh, property so next we are going to do is a rectangle and we are going to snapping anywhere you want it to to be the body and second one will snap intersection right there and then we'll have this one if it is like too big you can adjust it I actually feel like it's it's really big. Um, so I'm gonna do 1D scale and go from the midpoint to the midpoint, just make them a little bit shorter. And I also like to make the part on the bottom that's kind of a tilted in, right? So the one on the top, I'm going to explode it. This is going to be delete. And we just wanted to draw a line snapping this point to this point. And then I will get this curve and this 
one all together and let's join it all right so let rest of it uh, to turning into the solid is quite simple I actually make them light down so I'm simply just going to rotate it um, and move it then to the center by a line center on my top view and just type it zero okay so first of all with this one I'm going to extrude it straight for whatever thickness that you want something like this right so now we have the roof the second one we want to extrude it as well but this one need to be a little bit shorter and I'm going to moving all them back by a line horizontal center with my top view and just type it zero here all right so now we have this structure right here to making a door in the back I'm actually going to draw a big box for whatever thickness that you're going to cut for the door and have this cover entire area of the house right we're going to use this as a cutting tool let's go ahead to use the command for a uh, bullying split so this house it's going to be split by this block right there all right so we can delete this block and you're going to see let me put it into the different color you're going to see this is I shouldn't use the yellow because the selection is yellow color I should do the red color here all right so now if I'm hiding this one you can see like this is still solid in order to make them into some giving some interior we're going to use the commands called shell and the shell is going to get rid of uh, uh, some space inside and I thickness is for one that's okay and I'm going to select this surface and hit enter and so all you will show all the way inside all right now at the front I would like to use the cylinder and creating something more like an animal can get in so I'm gonna do something look like this and this is again going to be my cutting tool and then we're gonna making another copy in the bottom and just make it shorter so they can standing the bird can standing outside if they want to of course it is not gonna have any bird but it's just trying to make them close to the real all right so then let's go ahead to move in this one down just a little bit and we want to use the bowling difference this box out of this cylinder and then if that look okay to you we wanted to use a bowling it was a bowling different now we want a bowling union those two together all right so if you like it don't forget to give it a little fillet so we're gonna try a small fillet for something like a uh, 0.3 and we want to fill the edges here here and here you will look much nicer uh, for the rendering okay so now this part is done let's take a look on the door that we have with the door that we need to have a hinge so I'm gonna coming into my right view and decide how big the hinge is going to be uh, let's go ahead to draw a circle snapping right here this is where the turning point is and I like to have my pin to be um, 20 gauge so I'm going to set it up the diameter for 0 0.0 a1 which is 20 gauge and then I do want it to have a thickness so I'm going to use the offset curve to get the thickness for like a 0 0.65 and then for my tube so with those two tube as you can see is a snapping right at this point we wanted this to be going to the solid uh, you have an extruded planar curve and then you can snap in right there all right for most of the time when you are making any of the hinge you want to make sure you're making odd numbers so either you have three section or five section or seven section never have two section it will break easy okay so I'm just going to draw a box right here and make sure the box is touching uh, this part usually the middle part is longer than the outside part I just need to make sure this is right in the center so going to use the align tool to align vertical center and type it zero there all right once we have this we are going to um, split this tube with this box right so really quickly you can see I have the middle part 
just going to turning into the red color. All right. So the middle part is going to um, be the red here uh, with the door and the other two small part are going to attach to the body. Notice that we still have things inside. So I'm going to make another cylinder, which is exactly the same size with this one and make it much longer because we need to cut out everything in the middle so we can put the tube or wire in there, right? So all the door that we have here and also the body, it's going to be differences out, pulling difference out of this new wire here. So now it's clean inside. Okay, so now we have this every shape we need to have a bell and the bell happen to have a bird shape. So I would like to just spontaneous to draw a bird. It may look like chicken, but that's okay. Something look like this. It does look like a little chicken, um, but that's okay. You get what I mean here. Um, I do want to modify them to make sure the body is kind of around it, especially where on the body. Um, or you can put any animal right here if you want to. All right. If this bell is too big for you or too small for you, you can always scale big and small. Right. So that's it. This is a perfect bird that I have here or perfect chicken that I have here. Uh, I want to get them into a little bit round shape. Oh, that's a perfect example here. You see, when I try to draw on the front view, it may snapping somewhere crazy. So what I wanted to do at the front view, I'm going to use a command for projected to C plane, and I want to delete the input. So that will have this curve flattened to the uh, construction plane. Now let's go ahead to create some puffy form. I wanted to creating a circle roughly bigger than my bird and then you can kind of control how puffy you want it once you feel like this is the shape that you want let's go ahead to trim it so then we will have this surface right there all right and we don't need the other side and i'm just gonna hide this one here so just let's dealing with this surface if that surface look okay to you you can go ahead to offset the surface and with this surface I just need a little distance like a 0.7 millimeter and I want to make sure the solid equal yes right here hit enter then you will got this shape all right so once you get this shape you can tilt it a little bit right here and moving in and we wanted to do a smear to the other side right and if this is not touching, that's okay. We can just move in a little bit more. Make sure they are intersected and then they have the space in the middle. So that way that you can have the chain uh, go through it. Let's take a look on the render view. And that will be our little birdhouse. And this is what I did earlier. It's more skinnier. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment and let me know how you like this. And there are a lot more video at the membership program. Join the membership to see more of the trick and tips there. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.